Hi YouTubers, it's Dr. Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, please like and subscribe. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you all what exactly a cavity is. Now, I know a lot of people come to the dentist and are really, really nervous about having cavities. Uh, they just know it's a problem, but maybe they don't exactly know what a cavity is. So that's what I'm gonna to explain today. A cavity is basically the invasion of your tooth or teeth by bacteria or a bunch of microorganisms, mainly being bacteria. Uh, bacteria tend to like to eat the same stuff that we do. So they're in your mouth and there are millions and millions and millions of them in your mouth. And they eat the same food that we do. And then they secrete acid and the acid ends up eating into your tooth. And then they kind of go following into the hole that's being created by the acid and that's a cavity. The cavity is a hole in your tooth created by the acid the bacteria produces after eating the same food that we do. And of course, that's a problem. That's something that we typically will need to fix if it goes beyond a certain point. But that is the essence of a cavity. It is bacteria and microorganisms eating our food like us, secreting acid, and then going into the hole that they themselves make and then keeping on expanding it. They keep on secreting acid and they keep on breaking your enamel down. Then they go into the second layer of tooth, which is called dentin, and they break that down. And then eventually they end up in the nerve of the tooth if nothing is done. And that can be an even bigger and more expensive and unpleasant problem. Those are the essences of cavities. Now, cavities in baby teeth go really, really fast. So if you have kids and they have cavities, it is a good idea to get them treated fairly quickly because their enamel layer is a little bit thinner than adult teeth. And once the bacteria break through that, they go really fast to the nerve and it can become a real issue. So please take care of your cavities as soon as you can. And I'll give you even a little bit of a visual. So I've got this model right here. And this shows a couple of different things. I'm just going to focus on the cavity part today. So right here, for example, is a cavity. Now, when they start between the teeth, which is going to be right here, it actually forms a triangle and then a triangle. Uh, so it forms kind of a triangle into the enamel and then a triangle into the dentin, and then it goes into the nerve if it's not treated. That is, of course, bad. But so cavities can start in a couple of different places, really, mainly. Um, in between the teeth and on the tops of the teeth. So as you can see right here, starting on the tops of the teeth. Now, they can start just about anywhere, really. Uh, the main places where cavities will start on teeth are on the tops in our grooves. A lot of our back teeth have these little grooves, and sometimes our toothbrush bristles just can't get to the bottom of those grooves. So sometimes cavities will start in those teeth and in those spots, and sometimes they will start in between the teeth uh, if we're not really flossing all that well. So that's why it's important to really floss. And... They can also start in little pits that we have on the cheek and tongue side of our molars. Now, all of our molars have them to one degree or another. If they're shallow and brushable, great, but sometimes they can be deeper. And again, your toothbrush bristles might not get to the bottom of them. So again, that's where a cavity can form and then cause a problem. If you have cavities forming everywhere, even on the smooth surfaces of teeth, that is the teeth, no, no groove, no pit, nothing like that, you have a real problem. You have a real acid challenge to your teeth. And that's something that needs to be addressed probably more on the toothpaste and medicinal side and habit side rather than just fixing it simply alone. So that is it for this video on what a cavity is and where it can start. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you ask all your questions because I have a few great ones that I've seen and I will be answering them. And again, thanks so much for watching and hope you stay safe and healthy.